What's up everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Kyler Holland and I have a YouTube channel that focuses on Premiere Pro tutorials and everything revolving around filmmaking. So be sure to check it out. But today I'm with Adobe and we're gonna be diving into speed ramping, also known as time remapping. It's a way for you to adjust the speed of your clip and manipulate the transition between those two different speeds. It might sound complex right now, but I promise you at the end of this video, you are going to be a professional speed ramp editor. Is that a thing? Let's do it. All right, so check this out. This is a clip that I recently edited and look at these lines going all over the place. It may seem a little confusing right now, but that represents the speed of my clips. And as you can see, they're going up and down and some look smoother than others and as in it's like a Bezier curve. But ultimately, this is what we're going to learn today. When you are speed ramping, it's helpful to actually increase the size of your video layer. So if you come here to the left hand side and you click on this line, right above video one and drag that up, you can actually increase the size of that video layer and that will help you see the speed ramp graphs with higher fidelity. So for starters, we need to understand what a speed ramp is. And now I recommend trying to speed ramp clips that you shoot in slow motion or at least at 60 FPS. I shot this at 180, so it's pretty dang slow. In order to create a speed ramp, first you'll notice on your clip there's this FX button at the top Top left and if you right click on that and go down to time remapping and select speed you will be able to see this little line on your clip and if you hover over it you can see that there is this option to drag your clip up and down so if we click on this and drag the clip up you'll instantly notice that we are starting to increase the speed of our clip by a percentage base so if I drag this all the way up to 200% watch what happens our clip instantly doubled in speed. This is where the magic happens with speed ramping. What you can do with speed ramping is actually create keyframes on this line to adjust the speed. So if you hover over your line and hold the control key on PC or the command key on Mac, it will actually bring up this plus sign. And if you select, it will create a point right there. So what happens? Like, what does that point actually represent? If we drag this line after the keyframe all the way up to 300%, you'll instantly see that we have a jump. It goes from slow to fast right away. So how do we make this transition a little bit smoother? Well, if you click on your clip, you'll see that it highlighted that keyframe blue. And if you drag this to the right, it will actually start to create a speed ramp. And this will basically control that transition from 100% speed all the way up to 300% speed. And playing it back, it looks like this. As you can see, it's a smooth transition into that fast motion, and you can manipulate this even further. You can drag the right-hand portion out. You can also drag the left-hand portion out as well, and that will slow that transition so it's a little bit more seamless. Furthermore, on a speed ramp, if you select on any of these points right here at the beginning and end of your speed ramp, you'll notice this thing in the middle popped up. Now, if you click on the top line and drag this to the right, you'll immediately see that we're starting to create an S curve. And that S curve will allow you to smooth that transition a little bit more seamless. Keep in mind, you can always adjust this however you want. Like if you want this clip to be slower, you can drag that down. So now we are going so slow and it's gradually going really, really slow. If you don't want to actually create a speed ramp and you just want to change the speed of a certain clip, all you have to do is click C on your keyboard, make a cut, and then right click and go to speed and duration and change that speed to anything that you want. And then if you play this back, you can see that we have that speed adjusted right there. You can use that to transition between clips. So this clip that's shot in slow motion right here, what happens if I want it to speed up really quick? and then slow back down to slow motion. Well, in order to do this, right click on FX, go down to time remapping, and make sure speed is selected. As soon as that is selected, we're gonna scroll to a point where I want the fast motion to start, 
and I'm gonna hover over this line and hold control key on PC or the command key on Mac and then it will create a point as soon as you select it and then I'm gonna go forward a couple frames and I'm gonna hover over this line hold control again or the command key on Mac and that will create another point right now all I'm going to do is go to the middle in between both of these keyframes and click and drag up now when you drag it goes by a single number when you are dragging if you hold the shift key and drag you'll notice that it snaps on every five percent so now we that we have done that if you play this back it immediately goes to fast motion and back to slow motion so in order to smooth this speed ramp out you can either click and drag to the left or you can also click and drag to the right. I typically like dragging to the right when I am going into a speed ramp. That way I know that the start point will not move. If you drag to the left, your, your starting point will actually go a little bit earlier because it has to pull into that to create the speed ramp. So we're gonna drag this to the right and on the back portion I'm going to drag this to the left so now we have created a smooth little speed ramp where we speed the clip up and then immediately slow it back down you can adjust the s curve of this speed ramp to make it a little bit more smoother by clicking on any of the keyframes and dragging this to the right or the left one thing to keep in mind when you are trying to speed ramp clips is to understand the frame rate that you shot your clip in. If you are shooting in 60 FPS, just know that you can only go down to about 40% because anything below that will start to get a little choppy. However, I have some videos on just that topic. Just look up Extreme Slow Motion Kyler Holland and it should pop up. Well, that's all I have time for for today, but hopefully you enjoyed this quick little overview of speed ramping within Premiere Pro. My name's Kyler Holland, and I'll see you in the next one.